Hi everyone, this is Noga from Muscle and Motion and today we're going to learn about a very popular muscle, the biceps brachii. So before we start with the origin, insertion and actions and how to strengthen it and how to stretch it, I want to show you first how I got here. I'm starting at the home screen and I'm going to click the upper arm because obviously that's where it's at. If I want to remove a layer that's possible, I can also rotate the skeleton. But it's a superficial muscle, so it's right here. I don't need to remove any layer. On the right, I can see the biceps, which also derives its name from its two heads. I can see it's originated in the scapula and it goes down to the radius, which means it's a biarticular muscle. It's going over two joints. So basically what it means is that it affects both the shoulder and the elbow joint. And we're gonna see exactly how. So I'm starting right here. Here I can choose the entire muscle, the short head and the long head. So if I wanna go into details, I'm gonna start with the short head. Everything I can make bigger and smaller, but I'm just gonna keep it a little smaller so it's easier to go through the options. So I can see that the short head is kind of the busier head and it's doing a lot of actions. So let's start from the beginning. The short head uh, is doing elbow flexion with supination, which means that the thumb is going up and out as if you were holding a bowl of soup. This is how I remembered the word supination when I just started uh, in this world of anatomy. And then if I want to click right here I can see how it acts during an exercise so this is the way the biceps looks like when it contracts it's performing forearm supination we talked about it before it assists in shoulder flexion along with the deltoid it assists in shoulder horizontal adduction along with the pectoralis major and last but not least, it assists in shoulder adduction. So it brings the humerus closer to the ribcage. As you can see, the long head is not taking as much part in as many actions as the short one, but that's okay, we love you too. Um, it's also performing elbow flexion with supination. We saw that before too, and forearm supination. One important thing to know about the biceps brachii is that it's not only in charge of movement, but it also stabilizes the joint. It holds the humeral head inside the shoulder joint nice and stable with the triceps brachii. And now we want to see how to strengthen it. I guess uh, we most of us already know how to strengthen it, but here the interesting thing you can see is how we combine both elbow flexion with supination. It means that two of its actions take part in this exercise. And if you would want to add another one, you would do supination, elbow flexion and shoulder flexion. And that's going to be a good one to try next time you're at the gym. And Stretching is a little more challenging and not as obvious as the elbow joint gets up only to 180 degree. I said only, but that's good enough. We're happy with that. It just means that it's hard to stretch it as much as we would want to. So that's one option you have. Here you have more info if you want to read about it. And uh, that's it. I can go back here and learn about a different muscle if I want to. Oh, and one more cool thing I forgot to tell you about, which is super efficient and comfortable to use. I'm going to exercises by model and then I'm going to click, you know, who the one we talked about, the biceps brachii. Wait for it, it's coming. All the biceps exercises you can imagine and more a nice amount of them for sure and they're all here with different equipment uh, so yeah i just i know i work for muscle motion but it's a really really good platform for fitness professionals 25 percent of our content is for free 
uh, which means you can, if you're not ready to sign up yet, that's okay. And if you're ready to join us and be a better trainer, we're waiting for you at MuscleMotion.com or Google Play or App Store. Also important to know that we saw all of that through the strength training app of Muscle and Motion. Uh, it exists in all of our apps, so also yoga, posture, and anatomy. It's available to you everywhere you go to, so you can just, you know, scroll a little bit when you're at the gym, on the bus, or just a nerdy night with your friends if you're all into anatomy. Um, so have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new about the biceps brachii. We will see you on a different day. Bye guys!